Hello. Good morning, chili dogs. What you focus on? Gross. Feed them horses. We got three more pots coming at you guys. We got them right here. And so you can see the one right there that just is coming around right now. That's a smaller one than the other two. And so I might have some larger or wider pots today. So we'll see how we do. It's a little bit soft, so we might have a mess up, but we'll just roll with the punches. I got a, some more clay that I can reclaim. I got to get clay tomorrow. So I got to get a new batch. I'll probably get like, last time I did 800 pounds and I thought that was too much for my car. And so I'll probably do 400 or 500 this time. And hopefully that's a little bit better. But anyway, guys, we'll get right into it. I'll see you guys in a second. Green off. Camera B. Camera B. Didn't work that time. That's okay. The best is when you say it and then it does it right away and then it swaps over right as it lands. But I made too much noise before I said the phrase, so it didn't work. Anyway, we're gonna take our left hand, we're gonna project it forward ever so slightly. Take other hand and slowly pull this up. And remember, it's this left and that's upwards. So again, you'll see how I started off. I'm using my left hand and look what's happening to the clay here. Do you see how there's a little bump here that's forming? And so it's getting wobbly because I don't have my other hand there, but it's that bump that I'm holding with that other hand as it's slowly pulling that up. And there we go, right? Bring that right up to the top. And slowly bring that down. And then the thing is, do you see where it's wobbly right there? So my hand is lowering there, right? And then pushing that up towards that hand, meeting it, then going back down to catch any more, you know, little wobbly parts. So my hammer fist is coming right down and look at my left hand. Do you see how it's on this, you know, the left side here? I'm never going towards that middle section or that right section. A lot of people, they'll use their hand and they'll bend their wrist like this. That's a lot of tension on your wrist. Don't even allow that. Use your, your forearm here to push that clay and then it's gonna be a lot more sturdy because you're using your body weight, slowly bringing down your fist, and then walking all that off-center clay out to the edge here, and then it's coming around, and it's gonna hit your hand. All right, here we go, right down to the base. I'm gonna slowly ask the clay for a quest. The clay will give us that quest of this bump. Let me slowly just walk this up. When we get to that thin part, we're going to slightly lessen up that pressure. You don't want it to thin out much more than that. All right. And if I'm noticing something about the top, the top is thin. And so I think for this first one, we actually want to hurry up and kind of get this out just a little bit here, right? So you can see how it's already starting to wobble there because it's so thin. And so we really just want to make sure you can bring that out first. So then we don't have to do as much as that later on, right? go and slowly have our fingers down here just very little you see how it wants to totally wobble there maybe it will sink down but that'll be enough it's dipping down on one side so now we're gonna have to play with the tandrels a little bit right and so this one was kind of sad it was a little bit too thin to have any tension so that twist didn't really get tight on that interior right? And you're almost getting like an oval shape on there, right? And so when I'm looking at that, I'm saying, okay, well, like, where can I bring back some of that intention? And so I'll say, probably when I do the tandrels, I can bring that back, right? Okay, here we go. Really making sure I keep it kind of tight on this bottom edge, though, right? There we go. Bring this 
little chunk over here up around tuck that in slowly curl this up and maybe on this one since it's an oval shape we're actually going to have these tendrils dish out right on this top edge here and perhaps do something kind of funky on there playing with that that moment right and so you can see this one's kind of hanging out right on that top edge almost using that top collapse as a platform right so really trying to have some more expression have some more interest on that top section where it's collapsing and so hopefully we can make it feel a little bit more purposeful all right there's that second one kind of push this in just a tad you can see it's totally ripped right here so it's ripped but it's nesting do you see how it's kind of collapsing on that spiral so that spiral is the only thing that's kind of keeping it up right now and so some Camera B. I'm gonna push this down a little bit. All right, and so this one is a little bit more clay. I would say this is probably more towards the four pounds area, rather than the other ones probably, maybe almost, maybe three or a little bit less, but right around there. This one's probably more towards the four. This is also reclaimed off some stuff, so I gotta make sure I'm probably gonna reach some air bubbles depending on how well I wedged. And so I can already feel there's some air bubbles in here. And we gotta be more careful with how we interact with this clay specifically, right? Because it's reclaimed, there's probably some spots that are gonna wanna tear, or there's probably some spots that are a little bit harder and a little bit softer. And so we gotta be careful uh, the way we interact with this. So you can see how I'm trying to get this a little bit more centered at that base. So when I bring this up, it's less likely to tear. Let's see, do I have one more? I think I got one more in this one. But you can see how it's not as, you see how it's a little bit wobbly here? It's a lot of tension there, right? All right, so here we go. Camera A, we got one more. And so the key here is we're gonna start off a little bit slower at towards this base, right? There's gonna be like all sorts of bumps, but get that kind of tucked in and get ready to sort of project that forward. And it's gonna get wobbly on this top. Don't freak out. When you're about halfway, you're gonna speed up that wheel and you're gonna bring the rest of that up. You can see I have a thin point right here in this middle section. So that's danger zone. So we'll see that just in one second. So here we go. We're gonna tilt this over. Bring that up. And look, that danger zone, right? So I'm gonna have my hand there and I'm gonna slowly meet that top hand. And we're gonna slowly try to push that down, going back down to wherever that is, and then slowly walk that back up, right? And so wherever that wobble starts to go, that's where that right hand goes, and slowly bring that up to that left hand. That's bringing that up, right? Some more water. And again, it's that hammer fist coming down, slowly bringing all that off-center clay out to the side here, it's coming out and it's going around, 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 and where is it hitting? My palm right here, look at my palm. Do you see how the clay is building up in the middle of my palm? That's because I'm pushing at the base of my palm. A lot of people use the top of their palm when they're pushing. Use that base of that palm, because what's right behind that is your forearm there, right? And so it's gonna be a lot easier to keep that in. Somebody said they're new and just joined, thank you. Again, I'm bringing my knuckle down. Somebody said hello. Somebody said the man. And slowly bring this little bump up. 
And last time we know we went too thin with that rim, so we're gonna leave a little bit more clay there. And again, so now you can see it's even a steeper volcano, right? And we still have a little bit more clay down here, so that's what we're gonna move, okay? So again, we're gonna collar this in just a little bit. We're always starting below where we wanna collar, walk this up, right? Round off that top. When you bring things in and bring things wider, it's gonna emphasize all the inconsistencies, right? Don't be freaked out, just continue to pull. A little water, right to this base here. Start a little bit above, get ready. Push in just a tad, always slow in the base. Taking our interior hand, slowly projecting that up above the exterior hand, and then walking this up. Making sure our pressure is coming across, not a squeeze, right? When we see this bump, we maintain that bump all the way through the top. Like a slug trying to find his next meal, we're gonna get to the top here where it's a little bit thicker. We want to leave that thickness, so we're going to go slow. And like a slug, he can, even though he's hungry, he can only move at a slug speed, right? Camera B. Camera B. Right to the bottom. Somebody asked me if I can clean my laptop. This isn't a laptop, that's a monitor. Right on this top. We have some more thickness here. So we're gonna be a little bit more careful. But you can see, with just some slight pressure on the top, right below, it's gonna twist up. Kiss this rim. This is kind of a taller tree with a top twist, so that means we gotta have some fun in this middle part. So maybe we'll do some tandrils, but pattern tandrils, but keep them a little bit longer. All right, so that's number two. So we're gonna hop over here, camera C. Camera C. All right, and so you can see the one earlier, look what's happening. The total, this whole thing fell and ripped off there. But we're gonna keep that, I think it's kind of interesting. It's like somebody just like uh, ripped a brick out of the wall or something. <laughs> Camera B. Good. Any rabbits? I don't know. Let's check. No ra no rabbits, right? Wait, actually, there's actually a few rabbits. It's going to be kind of a annoying pot to throw with. I can't tell if they're in the bottom, though. Yeah, you can kind of hear some of them pop. There we go. Making sure it's all nice. All right. Here we go. Camera A. Hey guys, back again for another llama pole. Nice to see you guys. You know me, friend of the stream, Mr. Llama here. We're gonna get right into another volcano pole. Are you guys ready? Camera C. Here we go. Camera B. And then slowly bite down on that rim and walk that Back, that llama hand backwards while that left hand is slowly pushing forward. And what do the llamas love, guys? The llamas love their volcanoes. Slowly bring that in. There we go. Ask the clay for a quest. The clay's going to give you the quest and it's going to say, uh, take this bump all the way to the top of the pot here. And I say, okay, quest received. And it's really all about keeping that bump. Do you see that little bump? Maintaining that all the way to the top. like a slug up the side of the vessel. You're gonna slowly just lift, right? People call it a pole. I feel like it's more of a lift, right? Top, right? And so we're just gonna slowly maybe add some spirals here, right? And so if you go a little bit quicker, you can add some spirals there, right? And so I used to do a lot of these ones where now I'll do the tree and it'll create something interesting. Something I need to make sure I do is whenever this tree starts on the top, I gotta actually smooth this out, right? And so that way we'll actually bend normally. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, five. Four, five. 
You ready? On this bottom, hook your fingers. I'm slowly walking this out, walking this out, walking this out. Bring this in, bring this in, bring this in, bring this in, bring this in. There we go. And so those are the petals, right? Green on. Hello, everybody. It's me. We're back again with another little pottery review for you guys. We're going to start off with this one over here. This one is kind of the tallest one of the day. Um, you know, I wish I could have gone a little bit more outward here. Something I would critique myself on on this one is... I think sometimes the trees don't look as tree-like when it's a little bit more cylindrical, right? Like if we kind of look at the silhouette of it, there's not a lot of contrast in this pot, right? It kind of just looks more like a cylinder to me, right? And so I think that there is a lot of moments that could have been a lot louder on that pot. But again, I went a little bit too thin on that top, so I couldn't bring that out too much more, right? Sometimes I think that this allows for something interesting to happen with the tangles, but I just don't think that they're really hitting the mark there. But still kind of cool. It's nice to have some taller pots amongst the rest of them, right? We got this one over here. I would say that this one, this one's probably my favorite one of the day. I think I like the tandrel kind of on the one side connecting on that rim and then you can't really see it but this tandrel fell halfway through and ripped a piece of the, the top treetop off, right? And so I think there was something really interesting about this absence kind of alluding to something, a moment happening, right? When you see a fallen tree in the woods, right, and you see the stump next to it, you kind of imagine it fell from that space. In the same way, when that little moment is missing on that top and it's ripped off and it kind of collapsed that tangle around the side here, right, I think there's something interesting happening with that, right? This one ripped open on this top, but I think there's more contrast here compared to this one. And then we got the one on the top playing with contrast a little bit more, almost giving us that hourglass shape. And I think the thing with the top that's the most interesting, right, I did petals on that one too, right, but I think the lines, I did a little spiral pull right after, I fin uh, right after my finishing pull to kind of give some more texture to the veins of the tree there. And so I think you can kind of see some of the lines you know, going around that, the veins of that tree where that twist happens. And I think that's kind of interesting. But thank you so much for watching. Let's wheel.